What it do, bruh? Talk of the town, Nintendo, Doc Trey, still holding it down, still make the best games, and you know this, bro, it's the truth. You don't like it, you can have that seat go. Now, this particular video may not be very popular, but I don't care. And the reason why I don't care is because there's certain times where you have to make a video just because things need to be said. It may not be the most popular thing to say at the time, but it's something that needs to be said. And this needs to be said. And the question is, has a Nintendo Switch 2 SoC being four or five nanometers always been copium from the very beginning? And I'm starting to think it has been. I'm starting to think it has been. Because we've been hearing for the last couple of years why it was impossible for the Switch 2's SoC to be Samsung 8 nanometers. It's, it's just impossible. It can't be. It would run too hot. It would have an hour long battery. It's impossible. We've been hearing this for years. Literally, years. We've been hearing for years just how much Samsung 8 nanometers sucked and how this was the, the worst case scenario. And if this happened, it just means that Nintendo just doesn't get it. And then we were, we were going over evidence, supposedly, evidence of why, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that the chip was a four, well, technically five, nanometer TSMC chip. Despite the fact that all of the actual evidence, the real hard evidence, said the opposite. We know that the chip was taped out around 2022 or 2023 at the latest, probably 2022. We know this. We know that this chip was developed around the same time as other Ampere NVIDIA chips that happened to be Samsung 8 nanometers. We know for a fact that this is an Ampere based chip. All Ampere based NVIDIA chips or eight nanometers. But for whatever reason, everyone was convinced that Nintendo would make a custom Ampere chip that's not eight nanometers. Why? Because of actual evidence? No because of copium because of hopium because they hope they hoped nintendo would do that yeah let's not pay attention to the actual evidence and the thing that actually kind of <laughs> kind of annoys me is you guys know about the the big the huge nvidia leak now most of us we were not able to actually read the contents of that leak so we were taking what was in the leak the information of the leak, we were taking people's word for it, for what they read of the leak. Well, apparently, there was hints in that leak that led to Samsung this whole time. But people decided to ignore it in favor of TSMC 4 and 5 nanometer copium. I found way more evidence on Samsung than I did TSMC. And actually the only real evidence, the only real somewhat evidence of the Switch 2's SOC being TSMC is the video I did. And even that was reaching. There's a reason why I have like five or six videos on Samsung and eight nanometers and one 
on TSMC for Switch 2. You know why? Because it was never a TSMC. That's why I couldn't find anything besides that one thing that was reaching. That's why it's best to just go with your gut. And my gut, from the very beginning, before even this TSMC junk was going on, I said, I highly doubt, I'm not sold on 5 nanometers for Switch 2. Simply not, I'm not sold on it. That's why you got to listen to your gut. And I know you probably guys, well, it's not confirmed yet, Dre. You can't say, it. like, come on. You know. You know deep down. You know deep down this is 8 nanometers. You know it. You know it. Now, you'll be like, well, is there a ch there's a chance it could be 5 nanometers from Samsung. Yeah, there's a slim chance. But let, come on, let's, let's be honest with ourselves. It's 8 nanometers. The timelines match up. It just, it just matches up. Everything matches up. The time matches up. The chips designed around the same time match up with 8 nanometers. The architecture matches up with 8 nanometers. The fan in the dock matches up with 8 nanometers. It being bigger than the Switch OLED matches up with 8 nanometers. It's like it's time to just accept that the Switch 2 is an eight nanometer chip. It uses an eight nanometer SOC from Samsung. And it's not that big of a deal. Either way, we obviously can't build a full switch to out of it, let alone play any games on it. But what we can do is to reverse engineer this NVIDIA chip on Switch 2. We can use a microscope or grind it down to get a die shot and figure out exactly what kind of hardware the Switch 2 is packing. How many CPU cores, what's the GPU spec, we will find out very soon. On top of that, we can send it in for FIPSAM analysis to check whether it's built on Samsung's 8 nanometer or 5 nanometer process. As the part number suggests, the chip is called GMLX30 Red a1. It's from Samsung's fabrication and packaged on week 21, 2024 in Taiwan. And now it's time to decat the chip and dig a bit further. We first use a metallurgical microscope to peek at the metal layers because you'll often find some marks from the makers up there. And we instantly spotted Nvidia's stamp. Well, the Switch 2's chip really is called T239. I swear I saw that rumor during COVID time, and today we finally got it proved. As you can see, T239 isn't exactly a new chip. It got taped out back in 2021, so we still need some hard proof. So we sent this T239 to FIPSAM. Even better, FIPSTEM, the ultimate way to judge process node. With that, we can see each and every transistor of the chip, which is just fascinating. We compared T239 to its desktop brother, GA107, which Nvidia said is using Samsung's 8N node. The bottom line is, these two chips are quite similar, but not exactly identical. The giveaway is the gate pitch. GA107 shows both 64 nanometer and 68 nanometer pitches, spot on Samsung's 8 nanometer spec, whereas T239 only measures 68 nanometer. It actually matches Samsung's 10 nanometer spec, but some of the other aspects do line up with 8 nanometer. In fact, the GA107 also shows mixed character of 8 nanometer and 10 nanometer from Samsung. So here's the scoop. Nvidia's so-called 8N is a custom Samsung node based on 10 nanometer with a handful of 8 nanometer tweaks. Nevertheless, 8 and 10 share a lot under the hood, and Nvidia will probably just call T239 an 8N chip, but it really is a 10 nanometer and 8 nanometer hybrid.